Welcome to Hayes, Kansas, population 21,000, home of the NCAA Division II Fort Hayes State University Tigers, 5A Hayes High Indians, and 3A Thomas More Prep Marion Monarchs. All right, my name's John Montgomery. I teach PE and weights and conditioning here at TMP, uh, Thomas More Prep Marion High School. Um, I am also the head football coach and an assistant track coach. position opened up here at Thomas More Prep um, as a defensive coordinator uh, under then head coach John Bohr and I, I took that position and, and after two years he uh, moved on to another head coaching uh, position and that's when I stepped in as a head coach uh, in 2012. Great job, we were so excited yesterday when we sat there and we talked sort of tally up absences where we're at, those of you guys that have made 100%, we're at all 21 guys have not missed a weights which is up from last year. 21 guys, another 21 guys sitting at 85% or above. 42 guys, all right? And there are probably about five or six of you that can be added to that list um, if you're willing to come make up on Friday this week and Thursday next week, all right? In 2011, under then head coach John Borer, the Monarchs posted a five and four mark, their first winning record in eight years. Last year, under first-year head coach John Montgomery, the Monarchs finished 2-7 and seven with wins over Division 2A Ellenwood and 3A Russell. Preparations for a winning season in 2013 have begun. Junior seniors, weight room first, right? Is that how we did it yesterday? Junior seniors, weight room first, freshman, sophomore, hitting that, uh, hitting that uh, speed grind with uh, with Coach Mayer. Here we go. Get a breakdown on Shy. Let's get it. Hashtag grind. Speed hashtag grind. 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 Hashtag grind.
All right, think smooth, think fast. Start fast, finish fast. Remember, the finish line is 10 yards past you think. Hey, let's have a day. Let's have a day. Here we go. TMP's football history has had its ups and downs. It's certainly, um, if you look in the last 13 years or so, we've been to the playoffs once in the last 13 years. 2002 uh, was the last time that, that we made it to the playoffs. Had a had an unbelievable season um, in 2002. But since then, a lot of subpar seasons where um, we just didn't uh, have the level of success that I think most kids that are playing and coaches w would want to have. And um, people working hard, just, just falling a little bit short at the end of the day. turn things around and, and it's time to take the steps necessary to get up, get ourselves back in the playoffs and give ourselves an opportunity to to one day play for that state championship again. That's it all the way through. Four nine oh. What'd you run at the beginning of the summer? Five one three? That's almost a quarter of a second. I really like Coach Montgomery. He can be really serious and really angry when you don't do something right. When you're doing it right, he gets really excited, and that is fun to watch. That's it! That's a better start! That's a better start! That's a better time! Coach Montgomery's a great guy. I mean, he's really energetic, upbeat, always positive, and uh, that's what you need in a coach, and he makes a team, and me, myself, want to be better at football and strive to be better as a team. You feel faster? How does 5.02 sound? 0.04 second third. That's fine. You know what? Do you remember what you were a year ago? 5 feet. Like 5 to 8. That's fun, Bob. Chris McGarry, he's a good guy. I, uh, he's definitely a talker. Intense. Uh, crazy sometimes. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Nice. But he's definitely a, a mentor. He's more than a coach. You can tell that he's not just coaching, but he's, he's shaping these guys. And he's even had a big impact on me as far as the way I do things. Uh, definitely inspires people to do things. Check Bring them home! Train them out. Train them out. Bring those feet up. That's it. That's it. That's it. Good job. Good job. Good job. Throw them on here.
Well, well, the monarchs are a mascot. We're the buffalo. It's a buffalo, not a butterfly. I mean, yeah. For uh, first time, first time I uh, got asked, well, what's the school mascot? And I said the monarchs. I got to kind of look, turn aside. It's not a butterfly. It's a, it's a buffalo. Um, the herd is is. You know, it's that together. It's that all is one mentality. When you think about a herd. Um, you know, all going the same direction, all working together. You know, moving, um, moving in, you know, whatever. I guess you know, moving in harmony, whatever you want to say. But, but that's the idea of the herd. We are, we're all moving forward. We're all moving in a direction uh, that we feel is going to make us better uh, as individuals and as teams. And and so. That's that whole the whole buffalo mentality coming together, and we're the herd. We're moving forward, and and watch out because when we get when we get going, um, great things can happen. Five one seven. Woo! 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 Yeah, he's intense. Uh, being the leadership. Days. Uh, I mean, he knows how to lead us to whatever we have to do, and he knows the steps that has to be taken. He knows his football. It always helps. I really like Coach Montgomery. I think he understands like, the players because he played high school and college football, so he understands what we're going through, and he can really relate to us. I got to compare it, but I think you blew it out of the water. Excellent job today. Hydrate, stretch, get yourselves ready for tomorrow. Think fast, all right? Like, put a, put a, print an article off the internet on how to be fast. Put it under your pillow tonight and go to sleep. It might help you out, okay? Think fast. Get a break down, Noah. Bring it rolling right there. You think Roll it. sport athletes so when you look at uh, a football player here football player where I went to school at Derby might just be a football player because we were 6a school and I had there were 2100 kids in the school well at TMP we've got 350 400 grades 7 through 12 and so what that means is a kid doesn't really specialize typically in one sport a kid is a two sport or a three sport athlete and so because you are that you have friends and connections and the small community of the school you have friends and connections with kids that aren't just football players that aren't just basketball players but they are you know they're the soccer players they're volleyball players they're they're baseball players and so it's important for them to be able to go root on just like I want kids to come cheer for us on Friday nights we want we encourage them when they get the chance when the schedule aligns to, to go cheer on their teammates because that's what it's all about and that that community that we're trying to create here on campus at TMP. Um, without that, you're missing a tremendous piece of, of what makes high school special. Oh, take me back again When I was 16 with an open heart Windows down in a beat up car
Follow the Monarchs every Monday and Thursday by going to PrepToPrep.com and looking for the newest episode of Between the Lines, TMP Football.